I just recently found out there is a second portion to the comment manager area called mentions and I guess it looks like people can flag me in his or her video description box and in that particular video will show up in here. I see this has been going on for about a year perhaps and there's quite a bit of uh, videos in here up until two days ago so I figure if people are going to mention me in their video description I ought to watch the video some of these videos I already watch anyways uh, like I do watch this channel uh, there's a couple of other ones I recognize in here but a lot of ones that I don't um, so I'll go through and watch these videos and if people like watching me watch these videos then then uh, mention me in your video and maybe I'll keep doing this so uh, we'll start at the bottom and we'll go up I'm not going to get through all of them tonight because there's quite a few so we'll start with with this one from Eski this is the vlog 30,921 uh, Forgive me if this is going to sound like crap. I mean, first off, I'm getting over a cold. And secondly, I forgot to set the, to start the camera when I did the unboxing. So this is going to fucking suck. <laughs> but we're not going to worry about that right now. Point is, yeah. Here we have a little Toastmaster, model 5301-1. Some of you may or may not remember that I had something like this. I actually had two of these. One of them the exact same grill some years ago. In fact, it was eight years ago. I'm not going to put the little clips in them, but I'll post the links to the original videos. But yeah, I saw this. I figured, why the hell not? And after watching Jordan Yu's video of the 5302 or whatever that he had, it made me want to get another one. So yeah. Here's what it looks like. A grunt model 501 1 115 volts, 5555 watts. Toastmaster Division, McGraw Edison. Not bad. Side. <clears throat> Back. And like I said, the last one that I had, the knob literally came undone. It's probably a little stiff. It's probably going to need oil eventually. I think it needs oil right now. Spout. I mean, let's hope for the best. So, right, we're going to plug it up and we're going to give it a go. All right, it's plugged up. And the power is now on. So, here's on. It needs oil. But since it's so a little Obviously working, it hasn't it ran for so long, so it's a little gummed up. Sixty-eight hundred of amp and about fifty-eight watts. Partly because we're running hundred twenty-three volts in the house. Hmm, that's kind of high. I am curious. I 
guess just like the last one I had, the oscillator doesn't work. But in defense, these, they're not, the oscillators are not of good quality. Like a, a wind mirror. <laughs> I don't understand why you get all these fans with these bad oscillator by. I mean, it's just a basic gearbox. I, I don't understand why some of them are so bad. I mean, honestly, not a big deal. I mean, it's fine that it's stationary. I wonder if, like, a good lubrication of everything would fix it. Or it just busts it so much. Huh, that freed up quite a bit. That's really surprising. Maybe it doesn't need oil. A lot better than the last one I had. But, I mean, I'm probably still going to have to... probably take it apart and see what it does. But like I said, if it don't work, if the oscillator doesn't work, it's not a, it's not a deal breaker. I like my voice. Ha! Let's see if it'll come back up. And I'm also curious. Blades obviously don't bend, but... Yeah, this thing is fucked. But not a big deal. It's gotta be some kind of a lubrication issue, I would think. Not a big deal. I can't believe how much I've freed up. That's incredible. All right, that's going to be it for this video. This little Toastmaster fan model 5301-1. Like the third one I had, but this is the one that's a little bit better than the last two that I had. Despite the fact that the second one was in a little bit better shape, but I regret getting rid of it. If you can believe that. And the oscillator, well, it needs a little work, but if it don't work, not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker. I just like the style of this. I mean, Toastmaster. But, I mean, maybe see an update on this in the near future, I don't know. And for those who actually want, who sat through with this, I apologize for my voice. I just, I mean, I've been getting over a cold that I got last week and it was horrible. So, maybe it's actually a new thing, I don't know. I mean, I actually sound a little bit better on video than I do now. Whatever it is. No, you sound awful. I guess the next time, <laughs> whatever it is. I'm not just going to box the comp box is open. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, it was good. Okay. No, I like that input of the photographs at the end. You know, to see uh, different pieces of information, the power draw and the um the information tag. See, I don't know why this is having a problem, because, like, the buffer is all the way there, but it's still not playing right. I don't know, maybe this computer is not uh, powerful enough. 
Yeah, I, I kind of like these too. I mean, it, uh, this is a little bit older than the stuff I usually like. I don't really get into much earlier than the 70s or the 80s, but I don't mind having these around every now and again. It sure is interesting to see how the bottom of the barrel piece of junk from the 1960s is still better than most anything you can buy today. Okay, uh, so that's that. Cleaning my iPhone's camera. Okay. Oh, this computer mouse is uh, having a problem. Hello, viewers. I'm not sure if you can tell, but my iPhone camera is a little bit foggy. That's the problem with these doggone iPhones, is the camera can get so foggy so easily. So in this video, I'm going to clean it. Okay. I know you're not supposed to use Windex, but I haven't had a problem with it. So I'm just going to use it. I don't have isopropyl alcohol either, so I'm going to have to deal with it. Okay. See how much more crystal clear that is now? I'm going to dry it off. Yeah, it definitely is clear. pristine. But see, if you had a regular camera, uh, you wouldn't have the problem. Okay, next. This wireless charger was made in China. Woo, made in China. And here's the problem with it. Did you hear that weird squeaking sound perfectly? No, uh, not really. I, it's kind of sound like a air conditioner running in the background or something. Battery 80%. Connected to a stinky skunk. Connected to a block of cheese. Connected to I like it. Connected to these honk. That's kind of comical. When I started my business in 2011, I chose Wix. I would get paid double for this because now this ad's being seen multiple times. That music's a bit too loud. It's distorted. Here's another Toastmaster fan. No, not that Toastmaster fan. This one's a 5302 that 
Yeah, 52, 55 watts, all that nice, all that neat stuff. Same one that YouTuber Jordan Yu has, and once again, I got inspired and bought one. Though I kind of wish I had the different cage, because I like the cage from the other one. But, I'm not going to gripe. Beggars can't be choosers. Hey. Toastmaster. There's a the side. Back. And other side. Which has got a little bit of scuff on me. Take care of that. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug it up. We're going to give it a go. And it is a three speed. It goes one, two, three. So for ready, here's... The difference in the speeds is abysmal. There is a bit of a difference of speeds. I'm careful, but let's try the oscillations. The oscillator gears on these Navarra Edison fans are garbage. And some of them, if they actually still work, it's a miracle. But it's not a deal breaker, but it's nice to have. Now I'm curious if the one that I have oscillates or not. I don't remember. You could skip this ad, but don't skip the part that can help you get the job done. At Granger. Hello, viewers. Today for the. It's weird to watch a video at this old studio. How many years videos was filmed at this studio? Let's see here. It don't seem like it's oscillating at any point. So maybe the oscillator is busted. It's throwing out quite a bit of air. Now these blades are kind of really flimsy. I don't know if this will pick up on the key. Again, also not a big increase. Now somebody had mentioned to me a while back that... I guess it must be broke because I didn't show it working. Hmm. That was not required. Now. 
This thing is rated for 55 watts at 115 volts. I'm running 121.8 in the house right now. We'll put it to amp and we'll cut it on high. running a little high, but also, like I said, 115 volts at 55, 121 at 66, so... That seems pretty normal to me, because these are old enough to be checked at 115, so you're looking at almost, almost, uh, it was like 7 or 8% increase, so I don't think that's a concern at all. Maybe that's where it's really a lot. Medium. I'm surprised it draws that much less power. About 43 watts. And 56 hundredths. Low. Four tenths. And 32. One more spin down. Gee, something is loose on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Excused. Go. Cool. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video of this Toastmaster 12 inch VN model 5302 slightly bigger than 5301 dash one and, and just like that other one the oscillator don't work not a big deal because like I said these oscillator gearboxes were garbage apparently which these were dime store fans anyway so it's still better than today's Walmart great crap am I right? that is <laughs> Can true I, say that again? I don't know so yeah this will probably just be relegated to a shop fan for like, ooh, it's already getting into that. <laughs> nice. Probably like it relegated to a shop fan. Who knows? So until next time, whatever it is, I'm missing things for watching Combat. Kind of It's funny now. I want to. I want to find that one and dig it out and use it. Um, whenever you see something in somebody else's video, you always want to use it. Maybe I'll dig it out for this summer. Okay. Next we have my home phone's incoming call, and this is from Tech from Today Past, which I'm not familiar with that channel. So let's see what we have here. Tech from today and past. It kind of sounds like it has the older ring to it. I don't think it's quite exactly the same. Though. It does sound like the old ringer. Interesting how they brought it back after all these years.
That's an interesting model. Never seen anything quite like that before. The buttons on the back, that's weird. Well, it was very nicely recorded. I'm not much into to newer phones, you know, like the the stuff that's available today, but that was a very nice quality video, very well produced. Looks like there's a lot of uh, cellular telephones on here. Okay, we got another one from Tech from Today and Past. This one is Talking Caller ID says random stuff, Panasonic incoming call. So this is a video, but this is saying it's a post. I don't know what that is. What's the difference? Okay. Probably just another useless feature that YouTube came up with instead of making the features we use actually work. Call from Hey Hey Yahoo. Huh? Call from Hey Hey Yahoo. seen the sun in days around here. Call from cloudy and stormy. Call from cloudy and stormy. 
giorni. Literal. 
Eastern Gold. Call from I don't know. Call from I don't know. Call from I don't know. Sucks. 
Fuchs. Call from Texan to Type Post. Call from Texan to Type Post. Call from Texan to Type Post. There were a few funny ones in there. I mean, those videos are going to vary by sense of humor. Uh, let's see what we got here. Data, it's their personal data. What does that mean? I don't know, and I don't want to know. I want nothing to do with it. All right, I think I want to cut off there because uh, I'm getting tired. So we'll pick back up here well, with this video. So let me know if uh, there's interest in, in videos like this, and if there is, I will keep recording them. <laughs> 